I'm not my enemy. Now, let me give my speech, okay? You can have a mic when I'm done, all right? Don't give it to him. You know, I have had some fun in the last few days. Ever since I endorsed New English Lake yeah, Center tonight. Thank you. And, the, and the fun has been the kind of questions that I get from some folk in the media. Uh oh. <laughs> ah. They're not good. For folks. example, why did you endorse Speaker Gingrich earlier? Answer, I didn't want to. <laughs> Another question. Um, were there any promises made by Speaker Gingrich in order for him to get your endorsement? I said, this may surprise you. I didn't ask for anything. He didn't offer anything. My only expectation is to be able to help him win the nomination in the White House. Yeah. That's all. You know, it is difficult for some people to comprehend that not everybody has a political objective or political motive when they want to do something to help save this country. Yeah. That's my mission. Woo. That's my mission. question says, okay, how would you summarize why you decided? Well, first of all, it was a process. And I was on a TV show this morning. They couldn't comprehend what I meant by a process. I said it had nine steps. <laughs> I had to complete all nine of them before I made my decision. And then I published my weekly commentary that you can find at caneconnections.com, caneconnections.com. And in my weekly commentary, it was entitled, Nine Reasons Why I Endorsed New Gingrich. <laughs> but I'm only going to share three of them with you before I introduce the speaker. Number one, he's the only candidate that talks about and supports the idea of throwing out the tax code in order to get jobs from the this country. And no, he didn't promise it would be 999. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to the speaker to try to pigeonhole him. But he did ask me if I would co-chair his Economic Growth and Jobs Advisory Council. Oh. What do you think I'm going to advise him on? So number one, he's the only one talking about throwing out the tax code. If you look at the other candidates, they want to tinker around the edges. You heard me say this in one of the debates. Rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic will not get this economy going. Throw out the tax code. And put in a bold solution. And yes, Speaker Gingrich and I have had several conversations leading up to that decision. My second reason, many of the solutions you've heard me talk about, Speaker Gingrich also supports energy independence using all of our natural resources right here. Building our military and stop gutting our military. We are on the same page. And then a third major consideration. When I looked at all of the candidates, who would be the superior communicator to draw the distinction between? the failed presidency of Barack Obama and the message that we will be taking forth and that is we want power out of Washington, D.C. and back to the people. Yeah. And use that to 